guys I'm not gonna lie there's literally no excuse um, I've literally just been distracted and uninspired like I ain't got nothing to talk about <laughs> like literally I ain't got nothing to talk about I don't know what's going on I'm trying to survive like there's nothing to say hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Bastiana Joyce if you guys are new here hello and welcome the girl's been out of it clearly so today is Sunday the 16th of June and it is about half one in the afternoon my last youtube video was three months ago guys i'm not gonna lie there's literally no excuse um i've literally just been distracted and uninspired like when i'm not posting on youtube it's either i'm like super overwhelmed um but like my environment or i've got nothing to say like i'm really uninspired so yeah i just wanted to do this quick video before i start posting again um because i get these random bursts of inspiration and i think of all like these video ideas that i want to do and like where i see my channel going where i see my brand going and then i get all inspired again and i want to create content again and then i'm in this cycle again of creating content and uploading and it's like ah! he's just so cringy and like gives me a lot of anxiety but i'm here <laughs> there's nothing even that i can update you on because i feel like my life hasn't changed um since the last time i uploaded like things are pretty much the same family everything is the same my friends some things have changed some exciting news yeah we've got some exciting news in our friendship group um work career pretty much the same i'm still at my same job so literally i can say that things have changed a little bit because i feel like i have been distracted and uninspired so i haven't been connecting to god like in the best way that i know i can um and that's also the reason why i've been in this kind of funk um where i'm uninspired don't have anything to say don't have anything to talk about and not really wanting to put myself out there so i think my distance from god has definitely affected the way i show up for myself the way i believe in myself um which is a hard truth because my confidence and my strength actually comes from god and like when I'm at my best with God, that's like the most confident I am. And it shows, like it shows. And when I'm not abiding in God, it is so evident as to what is going on, what is missing. I'm not in touch with myself. Um, I'm quite distant, not only from God, but from myself and my goals and my values and like what I want in life and what I desire to have, what I desire to be like everything just becomes like this confusion cloud and i'm literally just surviving um and i'm going out and i'm drinking and i'm and i'm entertaining things that i shouldn't really be entertaining and it's like how did we get here then having to go back to a space where I am quite focused and quite honed in on like my values and like my purpose and stuff like it is hard to get back to that after a period of just confusion doubt and distractedness like it's actually so difficult but I'm here I'd say that has perhaps been a change as well that I'm trying to get back into I did join um, the alpha course um, as an observer um, because I've completed the alpha course before last year I believe and I completed it and because I'm into coaching and you know personal development and facilitating and all of that um, I thought that it'd be a good idea actually the facilitator that I had in my group for my first alpha experience was kind of encouraging me to come back and be an observer to then be a facilitator myself on the actual alpha course so that kind of sparked um, an interest and when the alpha course came around at church again I just thought it was something for me to something good for me to get involved in because I love conversations I love talking about life experiences thoughts perspectives beliefs and stuff so yeah that's been a nice change I've been participating in the course for 10 weeks now and today was the last day so that was amazing to like see everyone be so 
excited, so proud um, to have been part of the Alpha course. But that's pretty much it. Like nothing else has been going on. Oh. I have started the gym so initially I obviously signed up got my membership and I started paying for a personal trainer and it was good it was definitely great at first because I feel that they gave me the support and the confidence that I needed going back into the gym for the first time after I don't know how many years I had them for about a month um, and then I decided that it wasn't for me because I feel that I don't like pressure I mean I like pressure but I don't like pressure I feel like having a personal trainer made me very accountable like to someone and I didn't like it like I didn't I didn't want to put that pressure on my fitness journey I wanted to feel comfortable in myself and also in like my ability I didn't want to be doing things or like scared to not go in one day or like scared to like rearrange or reschedule because of someone i just didn't like the idea of having all this pressure and then letting someone down on days where i couldn't be there or like like i just didn't like that i really just wanted to have my own self-control like i really just wanted to get things in order for myself and you know have that commitment to myself rather than trying to have a commitment for someone else so i just didn't want to be accountable to anyone and just go on my own terms um and since doing that since leaving them i've actually been consistent on my own i've actually started going to the gym consistently for at least three to four times a week which is amazing and the most amazing part is that i actually wake up around six o'clock in the morning to go to the gym guys that is unheard of for me like one day i just decided get up and i got up and i went to the gym early in the morning before work and then i came home boiled some eggs had some fruit showered got ready for work and i was feeling alive i was feeling active and awake like i felt so good like that first time i woke up in the morning to go to the gym like from that day i said no nah, like there's no way i can go back to the way i was being like there's no way i can go back to not doing this like this is this has to be a norm this has to be my daily life this has to be a part of my daily routine i'm so proud of myself like one thing that has changed and that i am proud to come on here and update you guys on is that i'm consistent on my fitness journey like i am really trying and i'm so proud of myself because like i never expected it like i actually didn't see myself being this consistent on my own like i'm actually doing a great job like go me go me next thing i do want to work on though is like my eating habits um i don't feel like i'm a bad eater i don't overeat i don't under eat and i don't feel that my meals are unhealthy i feel like it's just standard african food you know but because like my stomach area is quite stubborn and that's like my biggest problem area i feel like i really need to hone down on the foods that i'm eating to contribute to that shredding of the muscles and the fat that's going on around that area um so i think that's my next goal is to focus on the diet side of things i've been going to the gym been doing my own nails which has been saving me some coins um and that's pretty much it and when i look back at my goals for this year i think i'm a big fat joke because i've just been so distracted so uninspired i feel like i don't know like with youtube i feel like in order to be relevant with long form content i really do feel like you have to bring in something you know new something exciting and i don't believe i have anything new and exciting to like present you guys with which is what has kept me away um for a bit because i'm like what am i what do i have to talk about i have nothing to talk about nothing new to talk about i do want to introduce a journey that i'm going to go into which is an entrepreneurial journey um and i look forward to bringing that to youtube because i feel like it will be a different side of me it'll be like a learning journey we'll be learning together and i just feel like it'd be cool for you guys to come along on that journey with me um so i'm thinking of bringing that in i'm thinking of bringing in more vlogs like more weekend vlogs because 
on a weekly basis like my weeks are all the same but sometimes on weekends I do get up to decent things like with my friends and stuff so I do want to start vlogging more of my weekends um, just so that I can bring more of that to the channel so that you guys can see like I don't know just my day to day a little bit more it'd also be great for you guys to tell me as well like what you guys want to see from me because there are some people that have been following me for a long time I'm sure and it's like you've seen this journey of me going off coming back going off and coming back and you've seen the different types of content that I've created so it'd be nice to hear from you guys as well as to what you'd want to see more from me um, so please do let me know down in the comments YouTube is literally one of my babies like one of my first it's it's like my first baby like my first thing that I've like really you know taking a chance on and like put myself out there for which is just so nerve-wracking like it's just so nerve-wracking this is why i actually can't let this go i can never let my channel go because it took me so much to get here like confidence wise to even start a youtube channel to record to put myself out there and like promote myself and like subscribe like comment share like guys that is so nerve-wracking like the anxiety that comes with having a channel and putting yourself out there doing any form of like creativity and like creating something and like presenting it to the world is very very anxious filled and I just can't let that go for the simple fact that I've done that and I just know that you know good things come to those who wait um, so I'm just gonna be patient with my YouTube journey and thank you all so much for being patient with me for if obviously you've been subscribed to me so yeah that's pretty much it guys um, I've just been uh, distracted and uninspired inspired um but i'm back <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to obviously like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and i hope to see you guys here again honestly and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed okay okay so yeah catch up with you guys soon ciao mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>